America bombed Libya long before 2011. 30 years ago, U.S. bombs nearly murdered Libyan strongman Muammar el Qaddafi. Aardvark attack aircraft and five EF-111 jammer planes took out from their bases in Britain on April 14, 1986. The F-111s had to fly through France, Italy, and Spain to get to Libya since they were not allowed to fly over their country. They dropped to low altitude near the Mediterranean to escape radar detection. Later that night, Navy aviators were launched into the air. An assault force of A-6, A-7, EA-6, and F-A-18 aircraft launched from the Mediterranean carriers America and Coral Sea. Their mission was to destroy a dozen barracks, airfields, and training centers, as well as the Libyan air defense system's costly Soviet-made missiles, cannons, and radars. Qaddafi was the reason the U.S. aircraft flew that night. Others see him as a wise leader who hung on to power following a military coup in 1969. And he transported weapons to the IRA, funded other terrorist organizations across the globe, and challenged U.S. freedom of passage off the Libyan coast. Then came the claimed assault on U.S. Navy F-14 aircraft by two Libyan jets, which were shot down, and the bombing of a Berlin disco, which killed or wounded over 200 people, including many U.S. troops. Qaddafi's punishment came in the shape of pave tack laser-guided bombs and jammers and anti-radar missiles aboard EF-111s and Navy planes. Mare ALS Zwanzig Libyanisch Flugzeug Worden zur Stort und Meriri Militareinrichtungen Schadite, Abul Dur F. According to the official Air Force history, just four of the F 111s were able to properly drop their bombs. However, although Qaddafi declared triumph, it was far from it. For the period involved, Libyan air defenses fared badly, says Australian historian Carlos Kopp. Anti-aircraft AAA, fire was intense but disorganized, and the Libyans launched a significant number of SAMs SA that were mostly misguided without radar or complete communications. Still, scores of people died, including Qaddafi's baby daughter. And Qaddafi ruled until October 20, 2011, when he was killed by insurgents. It's unclear whether Qaddafi was targeted. But what if the US raid killed him? Those were different times.